What is up, friends? This is Technicolor Fox, and today we're starting a new game called What Remains of Edith or Edith Finch. Uh, this game looks really, really cool. It's not like a normal game where you click, you know, you kind of just walk around, and it's more of a very story-rich game, which I, which I like. You know, I like games with cool views. Like, look, this game starts on a fucking boat. Like, this is awesome. I like games that have cool views and just made really, really nicely. So, uh, today we'll start it. Oh, here we go. Oh, you broke your arm. That's sad. A lot of this isn't going to make sense to you. And I'm sorry about that. I'm just going to start at the beginning. Okay. With the house. The house. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a really cool house. I lived here until I was 11, but I wasn't allowed inside half the rooms. That's not fair. Oh, that's cool. That's a cool mailbox. It resembles the house, I get it. Inside the mailbox were bills from seven years ago, marked urgent open immediately yeah I'm not gonna open immediately Can I close that there you go yeah this is really nice this forest is sick this game looks really really cool I hadn't been back since my brother Lewis's funeral oh that's sad inner will my mother left me a key, but didn't tell me what it unlocked. Maybe she thought I'd know. What a bitch. Or she thought the mystery would be enough to bring me back. Oh. Mystery. I'll name you Mystery. I'm gonna name my first child Mystery, boy or girl. I don't care. I so. haven't driven this way in a long time, but I saw a few hoof prints. What? Haven't driven this way, but I saw a few hoof prints. Oh, this son of a bitch leaving the hoof prints in the ground. You gonna cover those up after you're done, buddy? What do you think the world's yours? Jerk. The truth is, even after I inherited the house, I never thought I'd come back to it. But now I had questions about my family that only the house knew the answer. I to. would love to own a house in the woods like this, just by myself, throw, throw the parties exactly and my friends. Like I remembered it. The That's way a cool it. ass house. They just kept adding on to it, I guess, as kids were being born. Left the truck here. Where are we? Washington? Okay. Yeah, Washington's always gloomy like this, apparently. Any you Washingtoners out there? As a child, the house made me uncomfortable in Missing. a way I couldn't put into words. That's sad. I'm excited to learn more about this house. Now, as a 17-year-old, I knew exactly what those words were. I was afraid of the house. Ooh. Does it open? The I hoped the key might unlock the front door. It didn't. That would have been too easy. Looking in, I felt like the house itself had been waiting for me. Yeah, waiting for you to read all the books. Who's got time to read that many books? I know I don't. I got a YouTube channel to feed. What is that? Oh. Go through the doggy door. Prowling through the doggy door used to be a lot easier when I was 11. Now I'm fatter. Oh, that's a cool workshop. Got your bicycles, your little kitty swimming pool. Got Nemo on the bottom of it. It's badass. The power had been turned off the night we left. 
For the first time in years, I felt like I was home. Damn. Who's killing all this wine? Clutter. But instead of clutter. a family, there were just memories of one. Oh. Hey, there's Dawn, Edith, Eddie, Lewis. Loving memory of Lewis. Oh. Like how only one restaurant would deliver to our house, so we had Chinese a lot. Imper Imperial Palace. <laughs> I fucking love Chinese food. Go ham on that. Or how after Lewis started working at the cannery, we all got sick of eating salmon. <laughs> Except our cat, Molly. How can you get sick eating salmon? Maybe canned salmon. Nothing in the house looked abnormal. There was just too much of it. Like a smile with too many teeth. Yeah. That's creepy. A lot of things got left behind in the whirlwind of that last night. Damn, what happened? Why are all the doors, like, glued shut? Edie told me once that every finch who ever lived is buried somewhere in the library. Ooh. That's scary. After Milton disappeared, Mom sealed up all the bedrooms. Then Edie retaliated and drilled peepholes. <laughs> oh, Edie, you silly girl. The last time I was in Edith Sr.'s room, I was 10 and she was oh, painting Edith. my portrait. That's cool. As a kid, I just assumed every house had peepholes and sealed rooms you weren't allowed inside of. Yeah, doesn't everyone? If you don't, you're the weird one. My grandpa Sam spent seven years sharing a room with his dead brother, uh, Calvin. Uh. Is he dead in there? Whenever people ask me about my family, the first thing they always want to know about is Barbara. Barbara Finch. She a child? No, what is she, what is she a child star? Edie's father, Odin, built the original house. Good man, Odin. Barbara was a child star for two years. Until America grew out of it. That, that's it? Two years? Mom must have locked the third floor stairs on the night we left. Huh. Two years a child star? You're a star for that long? Not that way... I spent a lot of time playing in Great Uncle Walter's room. Damn, I feel like I'm in the ocean right now. I think my mom sometimes regretted not sealing it up. <laughs> Lewis told me there oh, were secret shit. passages, but I never believed him. Oh, you bet your ass there's secret passages. I'm about to find one right now. Turns out, my mom was really good at keeping secrets. Oh, shit. That's cool. Now it was my mom had been afraid of. That's cool. I want secret passages in my house. Oh, Reading this, maybe it sounds like I had a plan. From the paintings on the wall, it was clear my brother Milton had been here before me. But I had no idea what was behind that door. Just like I had no idea where all this was gonna lead. Huh. I got the sense Edie had spent a lot of time here. Before my mom sealed the doors. Reader diary. December 13th, 1947. Dear diary, I'll be gone soon, but I wanted to tell somebody about what's going to happen. It started when mom sent me to bed without dinner. I woke up and I was starving, so I looked around for something to eat. The gerbil food was dry, but I didn't mind it. Oh, ew, it's got poop in it. He's probably ate poop. I kept eating and eating. Oh, oh I don't need toothpaste. Oh, 
that's nasty. I ate a lot of things that night. Oh, man. That's why you don't smoke before you go to bed. You get the munchies. Little girl. Because then I heard high. chirping outside my window. It was a barn swallow going back to her nest. I reached out for her. <laughs> and suddenly... I was a cat! <laughs> what? What? Damn. How about that? This I girl tried is to be tripping kind, balls. But the bird is really scared. Yeah, I bet. I'm gonna get you. Mom and Dad didn't even look at me. Why do your parents look like dolls? I'm gonna get you, you little blue jay. I jumped and I almost got her. Where'd you go? I could tell she was getting really tired. Now I Damn. was up in the big tree. I promised Dad I wouldn't climb it anymore. All I cared about was eating that mama bird. You're sick. I gobbled her up. Oh. And suddenly, I was an owl. Oh, what? All I heard was the wind. This is sick. Then I heard little teeth nibbling in the grass. Damn, this is fucking cool. What was nibbling? Oh, you, um, you're done, rabbit. You're done, rabbit. Nice. I imagined his face looking up and seeing mine through my talons. Man, this little girl is a sicko. I didn't chew one bit. Oh. Then I flew off to find something bigger. Like a bear. I could go for a bear. Rabbit. How do you know it's a mom? Yeah. She was almost too big to carry. I started choking, but I couldn't stop eating. And suddenly, I was a shark. What? <laughs> What the fuck? Oh my god. That's one image I haven't ever seen before. Is a shark? And I snow. rolled off the cliff and into oh. the ocean. <laughs> now, I was hungrier than What ever. would you do if you saw a shark roll across the fucking road in the snow? Like it's the snow uh, of winter. Get that seal. I wanted fat, juicy seals. Yeah, me too. I tore off her flipper and it tasted really good. Where'd you go? Where'd this son of a bitch go? There we go. I'll cut you right off. No, I missed. There we go. Tight. Oh. When I was so hungry, I jumped out of the water. When I opened my eyes, everything had changed. What? I'm an octopus now? Now I was a monster, and I smelled people everywhere. Are you going the wrong way? No. So let's go this way. There we go. Uh, 
Oh, am I supposed to go in this car? No. Come on, octopus monster. Come on. Am I going the right way? There we go. There we go. Eat this bird? No. Who's trying to get eat right now? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Everyone's fucked up on this boat. Oh. Wrong way. No. Wrong way. Bitch, you're still hungry? Something I had to have, so I swam towards it. What was it? I slithered onto the sand, and the good smell... Was it the Chicken McGriddle at McDonald's? Because that shit looks good. Myself. All my stomach started growling. And suddenly, I was me again. I held my breath for a long time, but I couldn't hear anything. I wish I had this imagination. It's waiting for me to fall asleep. But it's not going to wait much longer. It needs to be. I'm not sure if I believed all of that, but I'm sure Edie would have. <laughs> that was a really cool story. Alright, uh, I'm going to end it right there, guys. If you like this uh, new game I'm starting, uh, check out my next video. Uh, I will be back. Promise. Deuces.